Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com and this is a Juki DDL8700 machine. Um, pretty much universal industrial sewing machine. So I'm not going to go over this, but all the industrial sewing machines, they have the same, same table, legs, motor and everything. And um, I'm going to go over one thing that is very important and get many, many phone calls. Uh, and it's regarding the bobbin winder. This is what we call a mechanical bobbin winder. This comes with the machine. When you go place the order on our website, this comes with the machine. We also have on our website what we call automatic bobbin winder. That, that's an external automatic electrical bobbin winder, ABW26, which you could buy because a lot of people don't like to use their machine to wind bobbins. When you want to wind these bobbins, and I'm going to show you in a minute, when you wind the bobbin here, everything here is working. The needles are going up and down, the feed dog is working, the plate is working, so people don't want to wear their sewing machine while they're rewinding the bobbin. So we came up with an idea. We made, we actually gold star, we made the first industrial automatic bobbin winder priced at $29.99 that we sell on our website called ABW-26. That's another thing when you call me and tell me, hey, that your machine comes with bobbin winder, yes. This is what we call mechanical bobbin winder. Now, the machine also comes with table, legs, motor, LED lamp, thread stamp, thread stand, oil, this iron, this shoes for the legs, let me put, it doesn't come with this. Because we're gonna make sure you guys know. So, these, what do, if you live in apartment buildings, or even in your home, and you have a beautiful, um, uh, beautiful uh, uh, floor, and you don't wanna ruin your floor, you could put this on your, it fits on the legs bottom, and it won't move, and it won't make any noise. It comes with a beautiful um, drawer, with paper, some paperwork, and uh, it doesn't even come with this scissor. This is our own scissors. But it comes with needles and screwdrivers. Now, so you get the motor, you get the table, you get everything you see here. Everything you see here, you get. So um, now, but I'm focusing today on this bobbin winder right here. This bobbin winder, so the LED lamp is also, let me put this here so you guys could see better. So, this bobbin winder is a universal bobbin winder, meaning that many companies use this for their machine. Juki uses for their machine, Nutek uses for con everybody. And there is a spindle here. A lot of you guys call me and tell me, hey David, the bobbin, the bobbins are not good, they're not working. And I know the reason, and I already made a video, but it's an older video, it might not come up on our search. But this is a brand new video I'm gonna make for you guys. So you guys could see what I mean by it. See, there is a oil diameter here, the whole diameter, and there is a dish spindle right here. If I wanna, first of all, when you wanna do a thread, then the reason there is two spool thread stand is because one goes for the machine, one goes for the bobbin winder. That's how you're gonna do the bobbin, the thread goes through the hole around the tension inside and you bring it up through here. You put the bobbin in here and adjust the way I'm doing it. Would be clockwise? Yes, clockwise. Okay, I'm gonna just get it up this extra. Okay, you just press this down, okay? Now, the way it works now, this bobbin should start turning, but it won't. You see, it won't. And a lot of people say, they call you and eh, the machine is not working, the bobbin is not working, I want to, uh. so, this is not a big deal. This is made for many type of bobbins. All you have to do, get one of these screwdrivers, put it inside this slit right here, see? Put it inside, and I want to be, I'm going to do it so you guys could see. Just make it wider. So, let's try, and we could always try more. 
Okay, it wasn't enough. I'm gonna put it up and I'm gonna widen it. And then I put it again inside there. Sorry. Not enough. It takes a couple, I just don't want to make, I want to make sure you guys get, just see how I widen it. It's a springy, so it might, you might have to, and now it's too, but here. It's good that it takes me a couple of times to do it so you guys know how it works. But now, you see this is working beautifully and when it's done, it, the, the spring here pops back and it will stop. The, the, the bobbin winding will stop. But now, I want you to guys, I want to show you something. I want to show you that while you're doing this, right here, the sewing machine is working. This is what happens with industrial machines. Industrial machines, you cannot stop the machine from working. It will work. And a lot of people don't like that. That's why you buy your external bobbin winder. This thing should stop any second now. And if you don't want it to go that much, you could always adjust the spring. You could, oh, see, now it stopped. It was, you open this one, and you adjust this spring if you wanted less. But see right now, it's full, so it won't even go. That's how you spin the, uh, you rewind the bobbin. And people that call and say, hey, this, mine, this is not D. And then you just cut it and pull it. And let me pull the bobbin case out too. And this is the bobbin case. See now, even if I do this one, the one that came, it's gotta be tight. Not loose, it's gotta be tight. Now. The way it works also, while I'm doing this bobbin case, it does not matter which way this bobbin goes inside, this way or this way, all it has to go, it has to go through this slit again, this cut right here, behind the tension spring. If, you see? Now, that's how you know your bobbin is working. No movement, not coming out when I pull this out. These are your tension screws for your bobbin case. If you see, you adjust this machine tension, and you see on the bottom you're still having problem, that's why there are two screwdrivers in there, the tiny one to adjust this. You tie it, less thread coming out, you open it up, more thread. For T70, T60, T105 thread, for denim jeans, canvas, nylon, webbing, you might want to lose the tension so you get more thread out because it's thicker. That's everything you have to do. Make sure before you, when you buy the machine, when you get it, oil it first. You got it, oil, put the oil first. One bottle of oil is good to start and then you could buy extra ones. When do you change the oil next? When it becomes, the lo become, becomes the below the low line or it becomes like dark and black. But till then, you don't need that. You need this, you don't throw it out. It's called umbrella. This helps the foot go up and down from the knee lifter. Um, a great machine, all of the machines. Juki, Nutek, they all use the same table, legs and motor and LED lamp and thread stand. Only the machine is different. Um, you have to put this on when you get it. You have to put this button, the belt covers. You have to put this piece on when we say unassembled the machine itself right here everything is intact everything everything is in there only you have to put the belt on the motor goes underneath and so forth and so on i hope you like the video david from goldstartool.com let me know what video you want me to do next for you guys thank you for watching